Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 16. Then the word of Yahuwah came to Yahu, the son of Chani, rather Chanani, against Basha, saying, For as much as I exalted you out of the dust and made you prince over my people, Yashadael, and you have walked in the way of Yaravam and have made eth my people, Yashadael, to sin, to provoke me to anger with their sins, behold, I will take away the posterity of Basha and the posterity of Eth his house, and will make your house like the house of Yaravam, the son of Nivat. Him that dies of Basha in the city shall the dogs eat, and him that dies of his in the fields shall the fowls of the air eat. Now the rest of the acts of Basha and what he did and his might, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael? So Basha slept with his fathers and was buried in Tertza, and Elah, his son, reigned in his stead. And also by the hand of the prophet Yahu, the son of Hananai, came the word of Yahuwah against Basha and against his house, even for all the evil that he did in the sight of Yahuwah, in provoking him to anger with the work of his hands, in being like the house of Yaravam, and because he killed him. In the twenty and sixth year of Acha, king of Yahuda began Elah, the son of Basha, to reign over Yashadael in Tertza, two years. And his servant Zimri, captain of half his chariots, conspired against him as he was in Tertza, drinking himself drunk in the house of Artsa, steward of his house in Tertza. And Zimri went in and smote him and killed him in the twenty and seventh year of Acha, king of Yahuda and reigned in his stead. And it came to pass, when he began to reign, as soon as he sat on his throne, that he slew at all the house of Basha. He left him not one that pisseth against a wall, neither of his kinsfolk, rather kinsfolks, nor of his friends. Thus did Zimri destroy at all the house of Basha, according to the word of Yahuwah which he spoke against Basha by Yahu the prophet. For all the sins of Basha and the sins of Elah, his son, by which they sinned and by which they made Eth Yashadael to sin in provoking Eth Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael to anger with their vanities. Now the rest of the acts of Elah and all that he did are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael? In the twenty and seventh year of Acha, king of Yahuda did Zimri reign seven days in Tertza. And the people were encamped against Gibbethon, which belonged to the Palishtim. And the people that were encamped heard say, Zimri has conspired and has also slain Eth the king. Wherefore, all Yashadael made Eth Omri, the captain of the host, king over Yashadael that day in the camp. And Omri went up from Gibbethon, and all Yashadael with him, and they besieged Tertza. And it came to pass, when Zimri saw that the city was taken, that he went into the palace of the king's house, and burnt at the king's house over him with fire, and died. For his sins which he sinned in doing evil in the sight of Yahuwah, in walking in the way of Yaravam, and in his sin which he did, to make at Yashadael to sin. Now, the rest of the acts of Zimri and his treason that he wrought, are they not written in the Sefer, 
of the chronicles of the kings of Yashra'el. Then were the people of Yashra'el divided into two parts. Half of the people followed Tivni, the son of Ginath, to make him king, and half followed Amri. But the people that followed Amri prevailed eth, against the people that followed Timni, rather Tivni, the son of Ginath. So Tivni died, and Omri reigned. In the thirty and first year of Acha, king of Yahuda began Omri to reign over Yashadael. Twelve years. Six years reigned he in Terza. And he bought at the hill Shomoron of Shemer for two talents of silver, and built at on the hill, and called at the name of the city which he built after the name of Shemer, owner of the hill, Shomoron. But Omri wrought evil in the eyes of Yahuwah, and did worse than all that were before him. For he walked in all the way of Yaravam, the son of Nivat, and in his sin, wherewith he made Eth Yashara'el to sin, to provoke Eth Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el to anger with their vanities. Now the rest of the acts of Omri which he did, and his might that he showed, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the kings of Yashar'el? So Omri slept with his fathers and was buried in Shomoron, and Achav, his son, reigned in his stead. And in the thirty and eighth year of Acha, king of Yahuda began Achav, the son of Omri, to reign over Yashar'el. And Achav, the son of Omri, reigned over Yashadael in Shomoron twenty and two years. And Achav, the son of Omri, did evil in the sight of Yahuwah, above all that were before him. And it came to pass, as if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Yaravam, the son of Nivat, that he took to be his woman at Isabel, the daughter of Eth Baal, king of the Sidonim, and went and served Eth Baal, and worshipped him. And he reared up an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he had built in Shomoron. And Achav made Eth an Asherah pole, and Achav did more to provoke Eth Yahuwah Elohai of Yashar'el to anger than all the kings of Yashar'el that were before him. In his days did Chiel, the Beat Ha'eli, build at Yericho. He laid the foundation thereof in Aviram, his firstborn, and set up the gates thereof in his youngest son Sigov, according to the word of Yahuwah, which he spoke by Yahusha, the son of Nun.